How are you doing guys? Josh here. Welcome to a new video and in this video I'm going to be going over my bookshelf. What books have I got? What books do I recommend? And what books should you read if you want to get further in business and get into self-improvement so on and so forth? No, I don't waste no time. Okay, so as you can see behind me, I have my bookshelf with um, all the books that I've accumulated over the years. I've always been quite big into reading, even before I got into sort of self-improvement, business, entrepreneurship, etc. Um, read a lot of fiction as a kid, was also big on comics, uh, believe it or not. Um, and then obviously, you know, as I got older, I started looking more and more into business books and then from there, I basically got hooked on self-improvement and started to read, you know, as many business books and self-improvement books, books on um, mindsets, business, finance, and so on and so forth as I could possibly get my hands on. But with that said, just one very important thing that I do want to mention before we get into these books is that yes, you know, as the saying goes, knowledge is power. But what you need to realize is that it's only potential power, okay? Execution trumps knowledge every single day of the week. So don't just read for the sake of it. Make sure that you also take massive action on the things that you learn from these books. But anyway, without further ado, let's hop into the bookshelf. So all of these books are in no particular order. To be fair, most of them are just organized by height because um, not every single shelf is the same height. So the smaller books are on top and a bit more of a larger books are at the bottom. Uh, majority of these books I have read apart from a few fiction books. So as you can see here, this is a series of, uh, series of fiction books that I read the first one. I am number four. Um, also, also, there's also a film on it but didn't really get into it. And to be fair, around that time was when I started to get into business books as well. So from that point onwards, I just started reading business books. So we'll start at the top um, books that I highly recommend here are The Miracle Morning, especially if you haven't got your morning routine on point just yet. Highly recommend you read it. It's about basically habits that will allow you to get up early get more productive of a morning and how you can basically build a solid morning routine. Then moving on, uh, Getting to Yes is a good book on negotiating skills and sales. Um, the Little Red Book of Sales was okay, but it is a bit um, American for you guys that are in Europe and in the Netherlands. Um, it's, it, it is relevant, but not as relevant as for those of you that are in like the American market or are in very high, you know, traditional sales jobs. Um, Richest Man in Babylon is a great book on saving and making sure you pay back your debts. It's quite a short read as well. I think it's only like 193 pages. Just waiting for that to focus. There we go, 193 pages. So you could get through this book in probably a day or two. And um, yeah, it is quite a good read to be fair. Very old school. It is a very old book. I'm not 100% sure what year this was written in, but it is a very old book. Let me actually double check. Okay, so it says here that the first book was published in 1926. I actually thought it would be a bit older than that. So if it is older, I'll put it on the screen now. But yeah, old book, but still a classic nonetheless. Then we have My Morning Routine, which is basically just a bunch of interviews with people that have um, interest in morning routines. So not all of them are the same, not all of them are just as productive, but uh, still a very interesting read nonetheless. And in this book, Exactly What to Say is one that I have not read just yet, but it is very high on my list. Um, Aaron Kaiser, who you guys will probably already know as well, Digital Marketer, recommended this book to me. So uh, that is actually next on my list. And then another very interesting book is The Tipping Point. Um, and basically how trends, um, how, how trends happen, basically. So um, basically how something goes from just being hype to actually becoming a viral phenomenon um, and how that takes place, how you can spot trends moving forward and uh, how things like, for example, Converse All-Stars um, actually took over the game. So again, another very interesting read if you like to know about spotting trends and spotting when things are about to become viral. 
Um, as you can see here, just as a single sick person can start an epidemic, we all have our first year of experience with that over the last few years. Um, so too can a small but precisely targeted push cause a fashion trend, the popularity of a new product or a drop in the crime rate. So um, yeah, like I said, very, very interesting read as well. Then two more books before we move on. Uh, Managing Oneself by Peter Drucker, a very, very good read on uh, basically self-management. Again, a short read. Let me just double check. Less than 60 pages long. You can get through this in about an hour or two, but a very, very good read. And it's a read or a book that I read at least once a year. Um, and every single time I read this book, I pick up new and different things. So again, another must read as well. And then the concise version of 48 Laws of Power, very, very powerful book. If you have not read it yet, make sure you read it at least once at some point in your entrepreneurial journey. Um, just a very, very good book on influence, how you can get ahead in the world, how the biggest influencers of the world rose to power and how you can too. So again, another good, good read. Then moving on to the next section, um, there's two books that I recommend here. Number one is Copy That Sells, the step-by-step -step system to get more sales, more customers, more often. Uh, probably one of the best books on copywriting that I've ever read, to be fair. It breaks down the whole framework that Ray Edwards use, uh, uses to basically generate millions in sales for him as well as his copywriting clients. And there's actually a course from Ray Edwards as well, I'm not sure how much it is, but I've been through the course as well, and the book is probably just as good, uh, and it comes at a tenth of the price. So um, pick up the book first before you actually decide to join the course. And then the second one of this list is Never Split the Difference, Negotiating as if Your Life Depended on It by Chris Voz, who is an ex-FBI hostage negotiator, and he basically tells anecdotes from when he was in the field, and then he translates how he negotiated certain um, scenarios and how you can use those stories and those systems that he's used um, to basically, you know, uh, free hostages from, um, you know, bank robberies, etc. How you can use those skills and his framework to better your sales skills. So probably one of the best books on negotiating that I've ever read. So copy that sells, negotiating that gets the sales, uh, two very, very good books. Then moving on, uh, funny story about the personal MBA actually. So this is basically a master's in business, all condensed into a probably 400 page book. Let me see how many pages, 428 pages. And it's actually this book that made me decide against going for a master's in business. So for those of you that don't know, I actually have a bachelor's in business and I was actually going for a master's in business and the master that, or the masters that I was going to go for was uh, a masters in entrepreneurship. And I ended up deciding against that after reading that book, because I felt like I had all of the knowledge that I needed from that one book to basically continue with entrepreneurship. Um, and I obviously with, you know, me wanting to go into business and become self-employed, I didn't really need that master's degree. I just wanted the information and that book basically gave me the information I needed. So. After reading that book, I actually decided against that and to pursue entrepreneurship and business full time. Shoe Dog is a very, very good read on, it's literally the Nike story. So how Nike, um, you know, came about, how it got started and so on and so forth. A very, very good read, very interesting as well to see how Phil Knight basically winged it for a lot of the earlier years of Nike and basically learned from his mistakes, uh, tried out new things, risked a lot. We took a lot of risks, went all in, and obviously, you know, the rest is history. So a very, very good book. Sapiens, good book as well, if you like the history of humankind. Um, the Everything Store, good book on basically the story of Amazon. Power of Habits, very good book. To be fair, can probably be summarized in one or two sentences. They basically say you've got a cornerstone habit and that is basically what all of your other habits are built on. So for example, if you get up early and then because you got up early, you have time to make yourself a cup of coffee, write down your goals and so on and so forth. Um, if you don't get up early, then obviously all the other habits don't really take place. So find those cornerstone habits for yourself and build the other habits in a sequence as a result of that. Then moving on to the third section, obviously dot-com secrets and expert secrets are two 
must reads if you are into online business and online entrepreneurship. Dotcom Secrets is basically about funnels, how you can build funnels um, yourself, you know, the different types of funnels that exist and so on and so forth. And then Expert Secrets is basically about building a personal brand and building a tribe, people that follow you and buy your products, etc. how you can really build that uh, for yourself. So two highly recommended books. And then probably my own Bible, the four hour work week, escape the nine to five, live anywhere and join the new rich, a book by Tim Ferriss. I read this probably at least twice a year and I have done now for about four or five years. Um, so I probably know this book by heart by now, but it is such a good read and it's still relevant to this day. How you can work on the business, not in the business and how you can set up systems for yourself to get much more done in less time so that you have more time to do what you actually want to do rather than stuck doing tedious little mindless things. And then moving on, we have a few books on Dutch real estate, books on sleep, uh, what the internet does to our brains, books on mindset and attention, etc. And then moving on to the next section, um, probably the one book that I recommend everyone to read here is High Performance Habits. Literally, you know, the title of the, the, the book basically says it, how extraordinary people become that way, what habits you need to build to become a high performer and how you can basically use the lessons in this book to become more productive and get more done in less time. And then moving on to the last shelf of this book, obviously the timeless classics that are Harry Potter must read for everyone as well. Um, and then these are the books that I'm either currently reading or I'm citing for various projects. Atomic Habits is a book that I highly recommend. Sell Like Crazy is actually a book that I have not read just yet. It is on my to read list. And then books that I'm currently reading, Bitcoin Billionaires and Permanent Record. Then moving on, uh, we've got a few books, uh, autobiographies from footballers, etc. Some Dutch, some English. And then we have The Mountain Is You, Transforming Self-Sabotage Into Self-Mastery. Have not read it yet, was recommended to me by a couple of people, so that is also on the list. And then we also have Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, another book that is on the list to read as well. Moving on, Think and Grow Rich. As you can see by the back of the book, I have read that numerous times. Very, very good read. And to be fair, it's one of those books, it's just a classic, just one that, everyone needs to read at some point in their entrepreneurial journey. Uh, the Way of the Wolf by Jordan Belfort, um, still a very, very good book on selling and sales. And what I really liked about this book is that he basically says that there's three things that you need to overcome in order to get the deal done. The person needs to trust in the product, needs to trust in you, and also needs to trust your business in order to get the deal done. Moving on, as I mentioned, these books I have not read apart from Iron Number 4. And then there's a few books here that I do want to give a quick mention to. Uh, the Alchemist, Paulo Coelho, another book that I read, I've read multiple times about finding your dream and following your dream, even if you can't see the full picture, uh, just pursue your dream nonetheless. The 10% Entrepreneur, uh, picked this up in the airport and actually read this on the plane a uh, very good read as well about living your dream without having to quit your day job. So if you're currently still in a day job and you want to start an agency or another entrepreneurial business, online business, then this is basically the book that will explain to you how you can do that without having to actually quit your job. So you can do both. And then once it makes sense, you can move over to entrepreneurship full time. And then moving on to the next section, uh, books that I recommend here are zero to one really good book highly enjoyed it basically on startups and how you can build your own startup online business and basically what they say in this book is that it's actually easier to copy concepts that have already been proven have already been tested rather than trying to reinvent the wheel yourself moving on a few books i recommend here obviously deep work um how to be focused in a world full of distraction becoming more and more relevant of course with the rise of social media and tiktok culture and then we also have cash for ties and for those of you that are in the agency space highly recommend you guys read this as well how to use more than 100 secrets of ad psychology to make big money selling anything to anyone and then last but most certainly not least uh, we have a book called Kintsugi for the Mind, 
which is sort of similar to the Mount One Is You. Uh, it's all about self mastery, and as you can read from the subtitle here, it's, it basically says manifest your perfect life despite your painful past. And I actually know the author, Max Hindle. I've actually had some mindset coaching from uh, this guy. Highly recommend you guys pick this book up. It's uh, currently on Amazon as well. It's a short read, but a very, very powerful read nonetheless. Um, yeah, like I said, highly recommend you guys take a look at this book. It's been a great read. It's told me a lot about how you perceive the world as it is, how we can become more positive, And because of that, get a lot more energy and be a lot more productive, less anxious and less stress out in your day to day. So in a nutshell, that is basically the whole list of books that I have physically got. Of course, I've got a lot of books on my iPad, etc. as well. Uh, but I do like to have the physical copy more often than not. I will buy the book on my iPad, get the book on my iPad. And then if I actually like it and I think, OK, I'm going to continue on with this read, I'll get the physical book as well. And just alternate between the two uh, also very big on audiobooks there's probably a lot of books that i've already listened to or i've read but aren't actually on this list but anyway um if you enjoyed this let me know in the comments down below if you want to know or see more videos like this less sort of informative in terms of the agency and more just about business in general um how i you know do my day to day if you guys want to see an office tour or anything like that just let me know in the comments down below. If you have a good read for me, then again, also leave that in the comments down below. Always uh, very interested in hearing what kind of books you guys recommend and what books I need to pick up next. But for now, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.